Hello there. Welcome to this beautiful morning. It's another edition of Hour of Glory. It's still your friend from the Theater of Prayer and Authority, Cyril Akasha will pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you praise. As your word is going to go forth, let the Father, the Father, Son of our heart, and be a good fruit in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The love, I invite you for a program that is going to be starting today and uh, tomorrow and Friday which is a themed fight with victory. It's a prayer meeting starting today by 6 and um, Thursday 6 p.m. and Friday uh, 11.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Praise the Lord. All right. A lot of persons have said, uh, said, God, why are you not using me? Use me. Is you lead this fellow? Why are you not using me? Yeah, Lord, you said in your word that when you ascended on high, you gave gift unto men, some prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors. Lord, I'm there. I can be a teacher of the world. I let me be that evangelist. Why are you not using me? Why should it only have to be brother A, brother B, brother C and D? Praise the Lord. Beloved, I want to tell you something. That God wants to use you. Yeah. Not just brother A, not sister B, or sister D, or brother E. No. Not only them. God also wants to use you. Want to use me. The same way he's using all these other persons you know out there. Praise God. I want you to quickly turn your Bible with me to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, 20. The Bible says, But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. Verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. So in the house of the Lord, the Lord has many vessels. The Bible says some gold, silver, you know, wood, earth, different. So we are all different people. We are all different. Uh, we have been created uniquely. So we have unique characteristics that you and I, no other person can do what you and I can do. Praise the Lord. And all of us, we are in the house of the Lord. But what makes us usable before the Lord is if you and I we purge ourselves. So purge yourself so that you can be a vessel unto honor. So the thing that you need to ask yourself, Lord, use me, Lord, use me, Lord, use me mightily. I need to ask you, have you purged yourself? Are you that one that have said no to any form of unrighteousness? I need to understand that without holiness, nobody can see God. It is only a man that has purged himself. That scripture says, purge yourself. So it is you who will decide to say, no more, I'm not going to live in this unrighteousness. I'm not going to do anything filthy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to commit sexual immorality again. I'm not going to watch that pornographic content. I'm not going to cheat anybody. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I'm not going to take bribes and all those other things. That's the man that God has made himself ready to be used. He said, purge yourself and you'll be ready, be made ready for the master's use. It means when you have put yourself, you have sanctified yourself. You have set yourself apart for holy use. The Lord, the Lord is ready to use you. He's ready to use me. But it lies on us to purge ourselves. If you continue to live in sin, there is no way God can use you or me. If I live in sin, there is no way God can use us. Because sin is something that takes us away from God. But once we purge ourselves, we rest assured that you will be that mighty apostle, that mighty prophet, that mighty evangelist, that mighty teacher, that mighty pastor. That one, the Lord will be working miracles through him. Praise God. 
I need you to understand that God is ready to use you today. You love listening to me. Pudding yourself start with you repenting and accepting the Lordship of Jesus over your life. Just in case you are listening to me, you have not accepted the Lordship of Jesus over your life. Now is the time to do so. You are going to do so by lifting up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, I come in the multitude of my sin. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me my iniquity. Thank you for being my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for your Holy Spirit of promise that is inside of me. In Jesus' most powerful name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, if I've said that prayer now, I congratulate you because you are now a member of the Bride of Christ and you are getting yourself ready to be used by the Master. Our numbers will come up on the screen. Please do get in touch with us. We want to know you and continue to pray with you. Beloved, listen to me. The Lord is ready to use you, to use me. Now, begin to live their holy life and we will see how the Lord will make us step into that which he has called us to be from the foundations of the earth in Christ Jesus. Until I see you tomorrow, stay blessed.